I'm Bert Young. Come on in. Welcome to my studio. I'm a pretty good artist. You might say impressionism, I don't know. I really don't know. Um, anything uh, that comes to fancy, you know, well, that gets me. I actually won a uh, Department of Parks contest in New York when I was about 11 years old. They gave me an easel and some paints and everything. I was, I was hot shit. I have favorite projects for different reasons. When I read the first Rocky, oh Christ, I, I never read something, something that had such clean street prose. I had my representative, you know, just, uh, you know, hold him back a little bit to try to twist a couple of dollars. It was a low budget movie. All of a sudden, Stallone comes and uh, he kneels down and says, uh, Mr. Young, I'm Sylvester Stallone, I wrote Rocky, you know. I said, oh shit, you did great, kid. You did really good. He says, you gotta do it. You gotta do it. I wrote the part thinking of you. I said, shh, I'm gonna do it. Let me try to twist their arm a little bit, you know. <laughs> he goes, <laughs> that's how we started. Well, you know, when you act or do a movie, it is a good chance of being edited. It, what you give them is not the final say. No one's touching my paintings. No one's editing my work on the wall. Just like if you mention a movie to me, a different movie or a different play, it brings back memories of the cast, the author. The paintings, since I'm painting from the, from the belly, they come back instantly. Any painting you see here, I can tell you what, what was happening, how, how it felt, and why. And that's a wonderful library for a human being to have. I think we're all poets. I think we're all musicians. I think we're all artists. I have my girlfriend's boy, Ricky. I was painting a painting of a, a yellow vase with flowers. And I hold it up to see what he thinks. What do you think, Ricky, I ask him. What? You don't like the, he says, blue, should be blue. So I get some color out, I mix up a blue, I get the brush. I put his hand on it, and we go together and we make the vase. Joshua says, uh, I can't believe you're listening to a four and a half year old. And he looks up and he says, it's because we are artists. I swear, <laughs> but it's true. I'm getting to be a couple of years old, you know. But anybody, any, any youngster or oldster, all I can say is, uh, Please don't, don't sit back and take your, even, even your self-criticism or someone else's self-criticism as a door closer. Don't do that. And what you think might be an error or give you doubt, that might be your brilliance. That might be your goddamn gift that you're gonna give us. Your, your, your fear, that might be what we want. Because we could then say, Oh, I felt the same way. But he's speaking about it with his art, with his painting. That's a great gift. I'm so fortunate to be taken seriously because that's all I am. I'm just reporting what I see, what I feel, but straining it through my own veins. And that's one of our pleasures. So don't, at your weakest, you might really be well, you're right. You might really be at your best. <laughs>